Hi, my name is Brittany Brammer. Did you know that five countries make up 90% of the world's geonetic engineering acreage? The U.S. makes up for 69% of this. Did you also know that more than 90% of soybeans grown in the U.S. last year were bioengineered? Also, in January 2006, a Taiwanese scientist created a new breed of glow-in-the-dark pigs using genes from a jellyfish and inserted them into the pig's embryos. What is genetic engineering? Is it right? Is it okay? How do you feel about it? Genetic engineering is the direct manipulation of an organism's ge genome using biotechnology. DNA may be added or subtracted from a project to create a new product. Often in this presentation, I will refer to genetically modified organisms as GMOs. First thing I'd like to talk about is how genetic engineering is done. First, a scientist will find an organism that naturally contains the desired trait. So say we want to make a banana red. The scientist may find a trait from an apple because it's red and use part of that DNA. Next, the DNA is extracted from the organism. This is like taking a recipe. This is like taking out an entire cookbook. The one desired gene, or a recipe from the cookbook, must be located and copied from thousands of genes that were extracted. This is called gene cloning. The fourth step is the gene may be modified slightly to work with the new organism in that it may be put into the recipient. The fifth step is the new gene, called a transgene, is delivered into the cells of the recipient organism. This is called gen transformation. Genetic engineers have no control over where or if the transgene inserts into the new genome. As a result, it takes hundreds of attempts to get this process right. The final step in genetic engineering is once a transgenic organism has been created, traditional breeding is used to improve the characteristics of the final product. While genetic engineering takes a piece from one organism and puts it into another, um, traditional breeding is where you have A and B and put them together and they create C. Um, I would like to talk about some of the pros and cons of genetic engineering. So far, genetic engineering has been used to create or to modify a lot of different plants and vegetables that we often eat every single day. Some of these include um, alfalfa, cherry tomatoes, corn, potatoes, rice and soybeans, squash, um, regular tomatoes, and these are just a couple of the ones that have been engineered to maybe make the taste better, make it last longer, um, anything like that, make it not so susceptible to um, diseases and other things that can ruin the plants. Um, there are a couple pros of genetic engineering. Some of these is the new plant might have a better taste, um, may have better nutrition, and may have a better growth rate. The plant or vegetable or fruit may also be pest resistant and have a longer shelf life. Um, there is also genetic modification to produce new foods, which would be kind of cool because we could be able to taste new things and create new things, not just use things that we found from the earth. Um, there is also a way of boosting positive traits and suppressing the negative ones that we do not want. So there's some of the pros, but while these are also good, you have to hear all the bads as to why genetic engineering should not be allowed. First of all, although I've been talking about plants and vegetables, um, genetic engineering has been used to modify human DNA. Imagine being able to create or um, give the desired traits to the baby that you're pregnant with. Um, you could make it have a blue eyes, you could make it tall, make it athletic. Some people might think that this is really cool. Um, while I agree that would be so cool that since we got that so far in technology, I also think that that would take away so much of genetic diversity. Um, everyone would be the best they could be. Everyone might be the same. Um, there would, wouldn't be a lot of diversity within our world. So to continue on with the cons, um, genetic engineering may tamper with nutritional value. As a, although it was a pro, it could also be a con. It might take away from the nutritional value instead of adding it. Um, it may introduce harmful path pathogens that we would ingest. Um, it may lead to genetic defects, whether this be in foods or in people. Um, it may create aller allergic reactions. Um, we could create things that we didn't even know we had and people, not bodies not accept that. 
Um, it would also create environmental damage. Gene pollution cannot be cleaned up once it's released into the environment. Um, scientists have no way of separating those molecules from the other ones like we possibly could with nuclear contamination or chemical contamination. Um, it can never be cleaned up, it can never be taken back. And even though it's, so it's spreading and it's getting worse for our environment, the more we use genetic engineering. What can you do to get away from genetic engineering? I personally don't believe engineering, engine, <laughs> genetic engineering is good. Um, I think that we should eat the things that we we found them that way. Um, cooking things is a completely different area, but I think that we were given these objects for a reason. We were given these supplies and tools to live how we were supposed to, not to necessarily change everything and create new things. As cool as it is that we are able to do that, I don't necessarily think it's right. So what you can do to avoid this is look for foods that are labeled GMO free. And again, that was genetically modified organisms. Um, almost all major brands have GMO ingredients. Um, these include things like sugar. Um, these are made from sugar beets, corn syrup, or soy ingredients. And although sugar is okay because it's not, tech, it's not usually classified as genetically engineered, um, the corn syrup or um, sugar beets that it's made from might have been engineered genetically. Um, to find out what foods you can eat without having to be genetically engineered, you can visit the True Food Network website and it will tell you what you should avoid, what you can eat, what is genetically engineered, and what is not. Another thing you can do is eat organic foods. Um, USDA regulations prohibit organic foods from create, containing genetically engineered ingredients and organic meats cannot come from animals that were fed genetically engineered crops. So what we're eating organic is an absolute way of avoiding these engineered foods and being able to stay completely um, organic and not have any of these things in them. So this is why I hope I show you some a little bit of pros to be fair, but majority cons that are terrible with genetic engineering. Um, they should be avoided and to I think just to stay healthy and be natural and have a natural way of life, you should avoid genetically engineered foods. Thank you.